EFCC arrange Federal High Court Judge Hylat Zir and Ganji Wa for unlawful enrichment. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on Friday arraigned a serving judge of the Federal High Court, Bulsa Justice Hylat Zir and Ganji Wa, for alleged unlawful enrichment with a sum of $260,000 and N8. 6 meters. Justice Nganjiwa, who is attached to Bailsa Division of the Federal High Court, was arraigned on 14 counts before the Lagos State High Court in Igbo Seer, having failed to appear in court on June 13 when the case first came up. His arraignment followed the dismissal of a preliminary objection he filed to challenge the jurisdiction of the court to try him. Robert Clark, San, counsel to the embattled judge, had contended that by virtue of Section 158 of the 1999 Constitution, only the National Judicial Council had the power to deal with the kind of allegations brought against the serving judge by the EFCC. But the prosecutor, Mr. Rotimi Oidipo, contended that despite being a serving judge, Justice Nganjiwa was not immune from criminal prosecution. Oidipo stressed that Section 308 of the Constitution, which specified government officials who had immunity as the president, vice president and state governors, did not include a serving judge. He also argued that though Section 158 of the Constitution vested the NJC with administrative power to discipline and erring judicial for misconduct, the NJC did not have the power to look into criminal allegations against judges. He urged the court to dismiss the preliminary objection and order Justice Nganji Wa to proceed into the dock for his arraignment. The President of the Tribunal. Justice A. 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 Quinto, upheld Oidipo's argument and dismissed Justice Nganjwa's preliminary objection. Justice A. Quinto held, this court, having been properly constituted, has the power to try this case. The notice of preliminary objection, I hold, is therefore misconceived and same as hereby dismissed. After the ruling, the charges were read to Justice Nganji Wa but he pleaded not guilty to all the 14 counts. In the charges, the EFCC accused him of unlawfully enriching himself as a public official by allegedly receiving a total of $260,000 in N8. 65 meters through his bank account between 2013 and 2015. The EFCC claimed that the judge could not explain the source of the funds, adding that he acted contrary to Section 82A of the Criminal Law of Lagos State, no. Justice Nganji Wa was also accused of giving false information to operatives of the EFCC, which, the prosecution said, amounted to an offense under Section 392 of the EFCC, Establishment, Act, 2014. But the accused judge denied all the allegations. Following the arraignment, Clark urged Justice A. Kinto to admit his client to bail on self-recognizance being a serving judge. Mr. Oitapo pleaded with the court not to grant Justice Nganji Wa bail on self-recognizance but to impose serious conditions that would compel his appearance in court for his trial. We never released him on bail on self-recognizance. I urge your lordship to impose serious conditions that will compel the defendant's appearance. We know what we went through before we got here. In view of the claim by the defendant that he's a judge, what should be paramount is the expeditious trial of this case, so that he can know his fate, Oedipo argued. However, in a short ruling, Justice A. Kinto said she was inclined to grant Justice Nganji Wa bail on self-recognizance in view of his status as a serving judge. 
She then directed the accused judge to deposit his passport in the custody of the chief registrar of the Lagos State High Court within seven days or that the EFCC should deposit same if the passport was still in its custody. Justice Akinto stressed that Justice Nganjiwa must make himself available in court throughout the entire length of his trial. She thereafter adjourned till October 6 and 10, 2017 for commencement of trial.